Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. Today I'm bringing you full day in life, full day of eating. We take you through a daily routine on a workout day, grocery shopping, what I do in, my, in the mornings, everything in the whole day. So, just woke up 7.30 Saturday morning, it's the latest I ever get to sleep. The first thing I did, 16 ounces of water, and on the last ounce of water, one shot of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna jump on the scale for a weigh-in. I always weigh myself first thing in the morning as soon as I wake up, right after I drink my water. I do it after I drink my water just so I have a little bit of something in my stomach. And again, you're not gonna really see much of a difference in weight right now. So, waking up, 159.2 this morning. All right, we're back. It's about nine o'clock now. I've been up for 90 minutes so far and still haven't eaten anything. Normally, Monday through Fridays, I eat as soon as I wake up. I wake up at 6, I'm eating by 6.30 in the mornings. Weekends, I tend to fast a little more, just because I tend to be up a little later and eat later on throughout the day. So, 90 minutes I've been awake so far. At 10.30, I have to train a client. And then right after I train that client, I'm going to work out myself. So I'm going to eat my first meal around 10 o'clock. But, I'm getting a little hungry now, so all I did was make myself a black coffee. I have these Whole Foods brand 365. Organic Colombian cups, they work with any Keurig, pop it in, eight ounces of coffee. So, first thing I'm putting in my body so far today, besides the water and apple cider vinegar, eight ounces of coffee. Then in about an hour, you're gonna see I'm gonna whip up my first meal and get right into training. So, it's about quarter to 10 right now. I'm about to start whipping up my first meal. Told y'all, I got a client at 10.30. And then I'm gonna train afterwards. So, I gotta figure I'm gonna eat right now, about 10. I won't get my next meal in till at least 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. at the earliest. So I'm going to train a client 10.30 to 11.30. I'll probably train myself 11.45 to about 1 o'clock. That means all I'm going to be having in my body up until then is this meal right now. You're going to see what's going to fuel me to last me throughout all that time, training a client and then pushing through a training session of my own. And besides that, all I'm going to be drinking during my workout is my normal aminos with water. So let's get right into meal one. So, you guys notice before, I was 159 on the scale. I'm currently about to start a bulk. Well, I started it this past week. I upped my calories to 3,200. 3, I was eating around 3,000 for the last like month before that, trying to stay at maintenance. And now I'm increasing to 3,200, trying to gain some weight now. 159 at 3,000 calories a day, I started still losing weight because I just burned so much during the day. I trained, like I said, five heads a day usually. Then I trained myself. I'm very active, so it's hard for me to keep on weight. So I started with a slight, slight bulk at 3,200. So here's meal one. Gonna have eggs. You'll see it already when we're done. I use the Vital Farms today. Now, for all my bone broth people out there, this is bone broth made right out the fridge. This is what it looks like. You see, it's a little cloudy. You can see the fat right on top in there, sitting. So this is what bone broth looks like when it's made. Now I poured myself 10 ounces, ready to go. I'm gonna heat this up in a, uh, in a pan. So I'm gonna make myself three eggs, 10 ounces of bone broth, and I have this coconut probiotic yogurt. Like I said, I'm trying to cut back on the Greek yogurt now. I'm trying to minimize all my dairy consumption. The only thing I'm really taking dairy right now is whey protein, and if I have cheese in a meal, if someone cooks it for me, or if I eat out. But whey protein, Pretty much the only day I'm keeping in my diet right now. I even cut out the Greek yogurt. So, I got this creamy coconut plain yogurt, unsweetened. The calories per serving is 110. It's got 8 grams of carbs, 1 gram of sugar, 8 grams of fat, and 1 gram of protein. So, what I'm going to put in this is 2 scoops of this collagen protein that I got. I got the Bulletproof brand today. So, I'm using 2 scoops of this, which is going to give me... An extra 20 grams of protein. So this with the coconut yogurt is going to have 21 grams of protein. Three eggs, about another 20 grams. And my homemade bone broth, I'm going to estimate around 15 grams of protein. Now, what you guys are going to notice. If you guys are buying store-bought bone broth, or whatever brand that you guys are going to use, I'm not going to name any other brands. So, you'll notice, all you're going to get is a broth, a clear broth. You're not going to have any of this fat, any of the deposits that come from the bones when you make it yourself. Let me give you an example of what the bones look like that I get. So, here's my pack of bones. 
I bought a shitload last time because they were running low. So here's a bone cut up. That's all the marrow in it. The outside bone, obviously, and all this inner part is marrow. So this is another bone. This, I think, this got some meat on the end. So I cook it all the same way. Cooking video is, uh, is going to come next. So first meal, three whole eggs, 10 ounces of bone broth, one serving of this coconut yogurt. It's opened already. There's two servings in here total. So I already ate one serving last night. So I'm going to finish that off with two scoops of collagen protein. And I'll put the macros and everything on the screen at the end of this. All right, so it's literally been five minutes since that clip cut off. I made my three eggs, heated up my 10 ounces of bone broth, and prepared my yogurt. What took the longest is just to heat the broth up in a pan. It took about four minutes. The eggs were done in three minutes, yogurt 30 seconds. And like always, you already know, I got the sauerkraut with me. So, sauerkraut goes down first, then I'm gonna drink this broth, then finish off with the eggs and the coconut yogurt. So for those of you who think it's too hard to prepare a meal for yourselves in the morning, listen, it'll take more time for you to walk to the corner deli, to place an order through Uber Eats, Go to a diner and have them prepare this meal for you, then it will take then it'll take for you to prepare it yourself. It took me legit five minutes to make this whole thing. And the other benefit is you know where you're cooking it in. I cooked this meal. Organic extra virgin olive oil spray. If you're gonna be eating out, more than likely they're cooking it in canola oil, corn oil, some type of shitty vegetable oil. It's gonna be filled with other greases and everything. And plus, you don't even know the type of foods they're using. You already know I got myself organic eggs I showed you before. Grass-fed bone broth, which you ain't gonna find at no deli or no diner, and you ain't gonna find yourself no coconut yogurt out in the corner bodega either. So, all this easy prepared for yourself. It's gonna take me less than five minutes to eat it too, and it, again, it's gonna sustain me now for five hours. I got a client in 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna train myself. So, higher fat, higher protein, more satiating meals, gonna sustain me longer throughout the day, keep my energy levels up. So, let's get it. You'll see me back for meal number two, post-workout. All right, here you're gonna see the macros for the breakfast meal. Total calories is around 611, 12 grams of carbs, 37 grams of fat, and 54 grams of protein. So that breaks down to 8% carbs, 56% fat, and 36% protein for my first meal of the day. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm whipping up to drink during my workout. This is my intra workout drink. It's gonna be no carb powder today. All it's gonna have is these essential aminos, I drink the Thorn brand. No dyes, no sucralose, nothing like that. And all I'm gonna put in there, I prepared this myself, it's just pre-mixed pre already. It's glutamine and creatine mixed together, so I'm gonna put one nice teaspoon of the mix of creatine and glutamine in my water, and one nice scoop of the Thorn aminos, and that's it. Shake that up, and I'm gonna drink this while I train. While I'm training my client, I'll just be sipping on Regular water, that's it. So, just finished with my client. About to get into my routine, and like I said, so far all I have for the day, three eggs, 10 ounces of bone broth, that coconut yogurt. It's been over two hours since I ate that meal. I'm still fresh, still got energy, ready to go. Today's routine, we're gonna be again, a little full body, but just body weight, I'm gonna take a real light. These first sets are gonna be something I done. I haven't seen anyone else do these exercises yet. Handstand, right into dips. Shoulder work and chest all in one round. So these clips of me training, you're just going to see, these first few rounds, I'm just warming up, just doing some full body warm up sets, full upper body warm up sets actually, just to get the blood flowing, because I actually decided I'm going to film a full routine after these warm up sets, and that's going to be another video down the line. I'll show you a clip of that also, and it's basically just going to be a really intense pull, push workout that's going to blow your back and chest up. So now in this round. All I did was that handstand press up to the dip, same as round one. Then I threw in body weight rows to get some back work going. So here, all I'm showing you is my first set of the routine that I'm filming. Like I said, this is a heavy, intense pull 
push workout that's going to target back and chest. It's going to blow your back and your chest up. The intensity is really high and the rest periods are really short. That's why you see me using no vest on this because I would not have been able to complete the workout if I had the vest on. And if you've been counting the reps so far, good shit, because I'm not going to tell you how many reps and sets I did of this until the video drops. So stay tuned for that. All right, so just finished the workout. I'm going to take you stop and shop right now. I'm going to get the post-workout meal. Easy, simple meal anyone can get, local grocery store. Let's go. Mass on. Number one, simple, no preparation needed. 90 second organic white rice. And make sure when you're getting these things, guys, look at the ingredients. All there is in here, water, white jasmine rice. Sometimes you'll see oils and shit, avoid that. All right, so I was looking for bison today. They didn't have it, but look, stop and shop. Grass fed ground beef. 90% lean, 10% fat. This is what you guys want to be looking for. Leaner cuts of meat post-workout to mix with the carbs. Let's go to the checkout. This is all we need today. Look how cheap this meal is. This is going to last me two meals for the day, too. This is going to make two meals for me throughout the day. Let's see how much this is going to cost. Welcome. If you have your stop and shop card, please scan it now. Scan your stop and shop. Please follow the instructions on the pin path. Who knows, it might be on sale. Thank you for using your card. Go ahead, show the price. 1068. It's gonna last me the next two meals throughout the day. So for under 11 bucks, I got two good, healthy meals. Alright, so just got back from Stop and Shop. I'm gonna prep this meal now. I'm starving, it's been almost four hours now since I ate, worked out, trained somebody, I'm ready to eat. So, I got the 90-10 grass-fed ground beef, this is how I'm going to show you how to season it, prep it, everything. So, taking the whole thing out, right into the bowl. I'm simple guys, I don't use oils, nothing like that. I got chopped up onions, throw a handful in there. Mix it up with the meat. Then, remember guys, simple. I got some ground black pepper, garlic, I'm heavy on the garlic, and some pink Himalayan sea salt. That's it, so I'm gonna mix all this up. And so, remember you guys, you saw I bought that rice pack. Hold up. So this post-workout meal is gonna be the beef and white rice. Now, you guys saw I picked this up in Stop and Shop. I realized when I was home, I had a little bit left of my bag of rice, and as you guys can see, I have a rice cooker. Instead of using this and opening right now, I decided just to finish my bag of rice, save this for another time. But look, this is a simple, easy way if you guys got no time. 90 second organic white jasmine rice. Great, easily digestible carb is what you want to be taking post-workout with a lean source of protein. Remember, post-workout you want to keep your proteins to leaner sources than fattier cuts. And that's when you want to have your carbs to replenish the glycogen you broke down. So I got the rice cooker cooking. I got one cook, one cup of uncooked rice in there. Like I said, there's gonna be two full meals for me today. This is a pound of ground beef, 16 ounces. I'm gonna eat eight ounces now, eight ounces later on. Two meals down, like I said, it's under $11, so let's get to cooking. All right, so it's been like 10 minutes since that last clip. All right, so the rice is done, beef is done. All I'm gonna do, weigh out my portions, so I have both meals set. So right now I'm gonna have 200 grams 
of white rice and eight ounces of this lean ground beef. So let's weigh it out. He's still not even here? Bro, I bought ba brand new fucking Nike cleats, $140, all at three sets of gloves, all my shit's gone. Could have gotten a hole out there. At 201 grams, you see right there, 201 grams of rice. Now, put the beef in. Eight ounces of this ground beef. And there we go, perfect eight ounces. So eight ounces of ground beef, 200 grams of white rice, post-workout meal. Here we go, the macros for the post-workout meal. We're at 673 calories, 60 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat, and 49 grams of protein. Right now, about 90 minutes after we ate the beef with the rice, getting hungry, and don't forget, I gotta put down 3,200 calories in a day right now. So right now I'm having a high protein cereal. I'm gonna show you the macros right here. 110 calories per serving, four and a half grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, zero sugar, one gram of fiber, 11 grams of protein. I'm gonna we'll put down two servings, which is 56 grams. So you can see, I poured out this last flavor. All I have was 46 grams left in the bag. But I got a bunch of other flavors up here. I'm gonna throw 10 grams of blueberries in to give it a complete 56 grams. So I'll put the total macros up when this is done. I'm gonna put almond milk in here, one cup, which runs around 40 calories. So total macros at the end of this clip. So on top of the two servings, I decided to throw in a banana. I threw one medium banana, which weighs about 120 grams, which brings the total calories for this meal to 370 calories. The macros are 52 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. I'm about to whip up my next meal, which is gonna be a shake. You guys seen this in my previous full day eating video. This is a staple meal that I have every day. The only thing that changes is one or two ingredients depending on the time of year it is, if I'm bulking, cutting, or if I trained or not for the day. So today's shake you're gonna see 70 grams of spinach. That's raw spinach that we put in the shake. We put one medium banana. It's about 125 grams. Next we're gonna put 70 grams of Griffin moss. This is my sea moss right here. If you guys want to uh, want to know the plug, who I get it from, hit me up. I'll let you know. 45 grams of rolled oats, gluten-free. You know I try to be everything gluten-free. 8 ounces of almond milk, unsweetened, vanilla. And so, I'm going to let you guys in on a little tip. So like I said, I've been eliminate, eliminating some dairy. I still keep whey in my diet, which is I already had whey for the day. Now I'm going to be using a vegan protein I started using. This is one of the best ones I've ever came across. It's a mix of pea and brown rice. No free promo here, but just letting y'all know, if you're looking for a good vegan option, this is pretty decent. And like I said, I have nothing against being vegan. If you guys could do it right, but I still eat meat, I still eat my eggs, and I'm absolutely not a vegan. So, this is meal, uh, the next meal you're gonna see, I'm gonna whip this up, and like I said, it's gonna be on the go. So, here we go. This is the shake all whipped up, all blended together. Like I said, I'm going to take this on the go. Macros to follow. All right, here we go. Macros for this shake. We're at 565 calories, 61 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, 37 grams of protein. All right, so like I said, 
I had to prep that shake for the road because I told you I was heading out. I'm heading to my boy's gender reveal party. He's about to reveal what he's having a boy or a girl, so congrats to him. And so, what I do, I prepare, bro. I brought my, like I said before earlier, I bought that grass-fed beef and the rice and told you it was going to make me two meals. So first I have here four ounces of that grass-fed beef from before. I had eight ounces earlier. Now I have four ounces with 200 grams of white rice again. And this is that shake that I made. So this is going to be my meal. What is that meal? Number four for the day. And this is what I'm going to eat before I get into the party. Because I know the party, that the food that's going to be there, is not going to be what's going to be down for my diet. So I could eat it. But what happens, listen, guys, I can eat anything I want. But what happens is when I eat this food that I'm not used to eating, these foods that are cooked in all these oils and everything, instantly, I'm, I'm talking about within like five, ten minutes, my stomach feels it. I get bloated, gassy, just get an upset stomach in general. So I try to avoid it. And, I, and instead of me going there and being starving, I prepare. Like I said, I pack my food. So I got two meals here. I'm going to take down in one shot. And then I'm going to have one more meal to finish off for the day. And that'll wrap up the 3,200 calories. So macros to follow. Stay tuned. All right, so you already saw the macros for the shake. Now, for the second meal that I'm having beef and rice, like I said, it was four ounces of the ground beef, 200 grams of white rice. That was about 473 calories, 60 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 27 grams of protein. All right, back in the crib. About to end off the night with the final meal of the day to hit off that 3,200 calorie mark. I got here these gluten-free English muffins that I like to eat. I'm going to top that off with 32 grams peanut butter, which is one serving. And I got 21 grams of organic honey on there. So, ending the meal, ending the night with this meal, this is going to top off the 3,200 calories. You'll see the macros for this meal right after. And then you'll see the total calories and macros for the entire day at the end of the video. So, that's an entire day of eating for me, guys. 3,200 calories. Like I said, I'm on a slight bulk right now. I increased my calories from the 3,000 calorie mark to 3,200. And you saw earlier in the, in the morning, I was 159. So let's see how far I can take this bulk over the next couple of months. Stay tuned to see the progress in the upcoming videos. All right, here we got the macros for that final meal. The English muffin with the peanut butter and the honey. We got 494 calories, 74 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein to end off the full day of eating. All right, so here's the total calories and macro ratios for the entire day of eating. Total calories, we hit 3,187, which was 13 calories short of the total 3,200, and I'd rather it stayed under than going over. Now, for the macros, we hit 40% carbs, which was 319 grams of carbs. We hit 34% fat, which was 121 grams, and we hit... Uh, 26% protein, which was 203 grams of protein. And that was total macros and calories for the entire day of eating. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Bon Naturals. Peace out.